Hello friends of Brooklyn, Brooklyn 2.0 is back on the air and I'm your host Michael Palsisco and what a great way to start 2018 here at the Senior Center. It's time to meet the Senior Center Director and take the tour of this wonderful facility. Wow, the Senior Center. Are you Karen Frado, the I Senior am. Center Coordinator? Hi, nice Karen's to meet you. Karen, it's a pleasure to meet you. Mike, right? Michael Palsisco. Okay, I'm Karen Frado. Nice to meet you. Can you tell us about some of the programs that the Senior Center has? Oh boy, we offer a wide variety of programs. Anything from activities such as ceramics to exercise, uh, bingo, meals. Um, we also offer a homebound meals program, bus transportation, quite a bit. But what are the ages to join the Senior Center and what are the qualifications? Okay, well our center is open to anyone 55 or older and we do of course welcome all of our Brooklyn residents but we're also open to other communities we have a lot of old Brooklyn Parma people that come as far as North Royalton and Strongsville that come here Karen there are so many wonderful activities here yes but do you have any programs for the seniors outside the senior center we sure do um, we offer in very nice program that's the snow removal the senior snow removal we sign people up starting in September. Uh, they do have to be Brooklyn residents, but the service garage will come out and plow their driveways if there's four inches or more of snow. So that's a great thing for our residents. We also have the Are You Okay program where they can sign up and that's where someone will check on them to make sure that they're responding. Um, that's all through the police department. And one more program we have is our, our uh, Ready Notify program. And that's where the seniors will sign up for that. They'll get the alerts on the snow bands or whatever else, emergency notifications through a phone call right directly to their home. Karen, you really meet the needs of the seniors. Can you take me for a tour of this beautiful facility? Absolutely. One of our new features is our new database. It's called My Senior Center. And what it is, is it's a digital check-in. People will come in with a key fob card, check in, Okay, what are you here for today? Well, I'm going to do the senior cardio class. So they'll click on that and hit finished, and it'll say thank you, have a great day. We've already registered now what they're here for, who's here. They'll log in with their little key card, and we'll know who they are, why they were here, how long they were here. It's a great way to track activities uh, for grants that we, what we may want to apply for. It's very high tech. Yeah. I'm very impressed. Yeah. So we're in the activities room. Can, yeah. I, can I start out with a cup of coffee? Oh, absolutely. We have coffee all day, 50 cents a cup, and then all day free refills. You can't get that anywhere. I'm drinking my coffee. Yeah. I want to play shuffleboard. Yeah. I, I see you have a pool table. Shuffleboard, come in anytime. We have three pool tables available anytime, and it's free. Coffee, shuffleboard, pool and you have crafts. Can you explain yeah. about the crafts here? Uh, we have a craft class on every Thursday. We have a teacher that comes in and she's got volunteers. Uh, they make a lot of this on their own and they sell it. They love to buy it. And then yeah. you have ceramics. I see all we these do. wonderful ceramics. We do. Monday, Tuesdays is our ceramic class. Starts anywhere from 9 or 10 in the morning and goes till they finish. We have a designated teacher for do, to do our ceramics, uh, Sandy. She's great. I see you have magazines, puzzles. Can you tell me a little about the magazines and the puzzle program you have here? These are all donated magazines. Anyone's free to take them, take them home, bring them back when you're done. Puzzles, they love sitting together, just putting the puzzles together. Uh, gets people together, socialize. During the think. summer, do you have bocce ball? We do, and our bocce actually is winter and summer. In the winter, we are inside and the other side of the hall there. In the uh, summertime, that's all open and free. Um, we have a women's team that meets on Wednesdays and a men's team that meets on th every Thursday. Karen, what is this? Well, actually, we have a room here designated for our quilters. They come in and quilt together on Wednesdays. And then this room also doubles up as a small kitchen if we need it. And uh, we have a group of ladies that come in for cards. So I can play pinochle. Every day, yeah, sure. Love it. You have everything here at the Senior Center, even a shredder. Well, this is a shred box. It's a locked box. We have a company that comes in every other month and picks it up. We allow seniors to bring in documents that they don't want to just throw out in the garbage, important papers that they want shredded. They bring them in, and then this is picked up, 
and shred it on site in their truck. I don't have a computer at home and I'm a senior, so you have a computer room. Can you explain just a little bit this process here in the computer room? Anyone's free to come in, use our computer. We have internet access. During Medicare season, we have one of our council women, Barb Politsky, who comes in and she'll even go on Medicare.gov and help them to select a plan for them that's right for them and give them the information. So it, it's really a, a great room, a great resource center. Karen, I feel like I'm at home. Good. It's like the living room of my house, but I know this is the library. Correct. Can you explain just how does the library work? Well, this is a lending library. So everything that we have here has been donated by people. Uh, we don't charge anything. You come in, you borrow a book or two or three. We don't even sign them out. We trust you. You bring them back when you're done and maybe a couple others that you don't want anymore. And then we loan them out to the next person. Can I donate my favorite book to you, Marley and me? Oh, I would love that. How does that work? Donations, volunteers? Well, anytime you want to donate something, we're, our, our doors are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. Uh, give us a call. We can help you up even from the car if you've got a lot. Uh, we will take books. We will take uh, videotapes um, and DVDs. So anything you want to do like that, that would be great. We also take crafts or yarn. Uh, a lot of the yarn that's donated, we give on to uh, people that are making blankets for babies at the hospital or blankets for the senior citizens that we visit in the nursing homes. You have a corner store. We do. Yeah, we, we sell everything that you see here. All of these cards are donated. Uh, 50 cents a card. You're not going to get that anywhere else. That's a deal. And uh, we've also got little items that the ceramics people make or the craft people make. Those all are rung up in our corner store. And, uh, you know, a lot of the seniors love coming in. You know, they have to go to the store. They're here. They're here to play bingo. They come on over and get a card for their friend that's in there playing bingo. I love these cards. And I'm going to buy this card for you. Thinking of you because you were a great host here at the Senior Center. Well, thank you. So I'm going to give this card to you. Okay. And then it's all about hugs and kisses. Here's your dollar. Thank you. I'm here with Kathy Masseri, the Assistant Senior Coordinator. Hello, Kathy. Hi, how are you, Mike? I'm doing well. Good, good to see you. I, the rumor has it, every Tuesday and Thursday, this room is just filled with seniors. This place is hopping. Tuesdays and Thursdays are our meal days. Tuesdays we have a lighter meal, sandwich and soup for $3.50, followed by a lovely game or several games of bingo, which is a crowded house. Thursdays we have a six dollar entree meal which is a much bigger dinner. Um, great food, we have a great cook here on site. We have a lot of people that come for both of those Tuesdays and Thursday meals. What time are the meals? Tuesdays we have the meal that starts at 11 a.m. followed by bingo at noon and on Thursdays it starts at 11.30. There's no bingo on Thursday though, it's just the meal. Can you share with us one of the, your favorite meals that you serve the seniors? Today we had a fish sandwich that was Ooh. out of this world. It would have given anybody a run for their money as far as tavern food goes. It was great. It was so good. Um, the bigger meals, like we love their meatloaf. We have a really good meatloaf dinner. We have, um, oh gosh, I'll cut. We have a menu in our chit chat that. What is this chit chat? Chit chat is our newsletter that is bi monthly. It showcases all of our activities that we have through the week. It gives the times that they're offered. It gives um, the menu selection for the, the two months at a time. So you have your Tuesday menus, you have your Thursday menus. So any questions, you can refer to that and it'll give you the whole layout of what's going on. So you're really, when it comes to meals, there's no better place. No better place than the Brooklyn Senior Center. Come right. and eat. All this great food, I'm hungry. And I wanna have a party. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how I would rent this room for my family or any families. Absolutely, you could be a resident or non-resident. Um, you could rent this room. We have an a, adjacent room that the wall opens up. This room holds up to 150. If we open the entire room, it's a 300 capacity. Any questions about our room rental, please give us a call. We'll be more than happy to discuss availability and pricing. I'm about to go on the senior bus and meet Mr. Ed Stutzman, the general maintenance man of the Brooklyn Senior Center. Ed, it's great to meet you. <laughs> Ed, I love this bus. This is incredible. Can you tell me just some of your responsibilities here at the Senior Center? Well, Mike, I drive the bus, uh, do a little light maintenance on the building and some cleaning. If I'm a senior, 
how would I apply for this program to ride the senior bus? Well, Mike, you just call the senior center uh, if you're 55 and over, and uh, they'll get you a uh, we'll get you a waiver that you signed to to ride the bus, and then uh, we'll give you the schedule and everything, and take you wherever you need to go. You got to be a Brooklyn resident, though. Does a senior bus just take me within Brooklyn, or say I want to go outside of Brooklyn? I have a doctor's appointment, and maybe I need to go to University Hospital. Is the program set up like that? Would you take me outside of Brooklyn? Okay, we go to uh, Parma Hospital, which is University. We go to uh, Metro Main Campus. We go to Metro Kaiser and Metro uh, Deakness. And then uh, we have a few doctors on Ridge Road and that we uh, go to, like foot doctors and uh, eye doctors and stuff. So, yeah, we, you know, but we don't go too far out, just to really to those three places. Ed, I love the shop, and I need to eat. What about shopping? Well, Mike, we go to uh, Giant Eagles on Wednesdays, Mark's. Um, on Fridays, we go to Aldi's. We go to uh, Walmart. Um, pick you up about 10.30. Some of the ladies go around 9 o'clock, but most of them are 10.30. And then uh, we let you go there for a couple hours and shop or do whatever. I come pick you back up, and I'll take you home. And uh, if you need help with your groceries, I'll carry them in for you. And I treat, treat them like uh, I want my mom to be treated. You mentioned all these good things. Shopping, the doctor's office. Do I have to meet you at the senior center or do you pick me up at my house? Well, all you do is give us 24 hours notice, call in. We'll pick you up at your house and uh, we'll go from there. Ed, I want to thank you for all this information, but I want to share with you, my mother uses the senior bus, and she loves the city of Brooklyn, and she loves you because you do treat her like your own mom. And I know she has a doctor's appointment this Thursday, so I want to thank you for treating my mom like your mom. Thanks, Mike. It's a great job, and we'll see your mom Thursday. Thanks. Kathy and Karen, this has been wonderful. What a tour. All the activities, the library, the crafts, the ceramics. I know you ladies can't do this alone. Do you have a volunteer program here? We have a very active volunteer base. Uh, we have seniors that come in and volunteer their time in the office, in the kitchen, in the library. We couldn't do it without them. Um, they are integral to the way this place runs. Kathy and I are two people. We can't do it all. They're great. They and they're like our family. Yes. They're our friends, our family. Absolutely. We very them. dependable. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They don't even call off sick most of the time. They come in and they're very good at what they do. So we couldn't do it without them. Yeah. We try to honor them at least once a year. We had a volunteer luncheon, which our administration is very supportive of our seniors. They backed us up with food and um, our mayor came over to speak to them. We had little gifts for them. Uh, we want to honor them as much as we can because literally we couldn't do it without them. Yeah, we have yeah. a good time here, yeah. and I'm blessed with this job. Oh, yeah. I truly love it. I think you do. Yeah, I every day. Does. We're thankful. If I have additional questions, who would I talk to? Well, Mike, we're, our door is always open. Kathy and I are available Monday through Friday, 8 to 4.30. We'd be happy to talk to anyone. We'd be happy to give you more information. We'd love you to come in and try us. We're trying to attract as many seniors as we can. I know that this place is vital to many. Uh, it's a great place to come and just have a good time with your friends. Yeah, we have and, a lot to offer, so yeah. we'd love for you guys yeah. to come up. Anybody new, hasn't been here before, please come in and say hello. We'll show you around. And we're so glad you highlighted the Senior Center because I think there's a lot of people in the community that don't know what a great place it is. I want to thank you, Kathy and Karen, for this wonderful tour. And I want to thank you, the community, the Brooklyn residents, because we're back. And we're back online, and we're back on the Brooklyn TV channel. And if you have any su suggestions for any future shows, please contact Ms. Jill Ludwig at City Hall. What a great way to return at the Brooklyn Senior Center. Brooklyn Pride, citywide. Love you, Brooklyn.